Okay, I have spent a significant amount of time trying to determine the deployments for the, is it pronounced Arklo? Battle of Arklo? I'm, I'm really not certain. <laughs> um, but um, I'm going to be needing to make a lot of hedgerows, and I wanted to kind of get, I wanted to try to get an idea of how many. So uh, bear with the table. It's on, it's literally on a wooden table because, um, well, because I'm not even sure what the streets are going to be. I don't know if the streets will be cobblestone or dirt or, or anything. But I just laid it out on a wooden table for tonight. I am. I guess I would. If anyone has any input on this. I would appreciate it. You have to use your imagination a bit because um, I don't have a river down here or anything. I think I might need a few more buildings, and I certainly would like, I mean, I've got some pretty inappropriate buildings here filling in, <laughs> but um, they work better than I guess I might have anticipated. So if I'm correct from following this, and, and I, I the um the McFarlane article in War Games Illustrated is what I was I've been using to put this together because I haven't really been able to find anything else with any details, at least online. And the few books I have don't really get into that much detail either. But my understanding is of course the river would be here on the bridge. And on this side would be the um Dragoon forces uh, were mostly here. Apparently, there was there were some dragoons over here too. These are obviously not the correct figures, but I don't know for fifty millimeter scale, <laughs> isn't that detailed anyway? It works better than I would expect. Um, I actually bought some figures to paint, but you know, I put the. My understanding is that the fencibles go in blue, and the. Um, um, is it yeoman um, going in red? So I have done that, and I put the dragoon guards in cocked hats. I mean, they're like war of Spanish succession, probably, but <laughs> at least they're in cocked hats. So my understanding is there's a barricade here, and I can't quite understand. I thought I read something about being put on a platform so it could actually shoot over this other barricade which is down at the end of the, the street, but the street has a has basically a gun in this barricade. And, and on this side, which is facing one of the main rebel positions, facing the hills of Arklo, if that's how it's pronounced, there's a barricade. My understanding there was some militia in some cavern, or not militia, um, I don't, or maybe they were militia. There was a small detachment that stirred in some cottages that were a little bit more forward and then they pulled back. I probably need to add another building for that. And then I have, I think this is the main defensive line around the camp, which it's my understanding was defended by some light and grenadier companies. So I have them and, and, a little, and some additional militia and then these troops, I'm just not certain where they're supposed to be. Um, they're supposed to, you know, the pictures were kind of uh, contradictory. I don't know. They're supposed to stare on the barracks. So I don't know if they really are supposed to stare on the street here and then they can proceed to this position or if they would be able to start here. But the main rebel forces, I think, would be approaching basically from this direction, which is of course where there's a lot of troops set out and would also be approaching from this direction. So I don't know, I've got some pretty empty, this, this is the old castle. It's the closest thing I have right now. I mean, I think I can probably construct something better, but you know, this is a filler for the moment. And I've got this hodgepodge of buildings, which I don't know, it's working, I think, remarkably better than I would have anticipated uh, just by, but, you know, I could obviously improve all of that. But anyway, if anyone has any input on this setup, 
or no, you know, who knows anything about the Battle of Arklo and could, or even how, if I'm mispronouncing it, let me know that. Uh, I would, uh, I would appreciate it, but I'm actually feeling pretty good about it so far. Uh, we'll see how it, you know, looks on a table with when I have all the hedgerows and when I have, um, I understand it looked like there was an orchard over there too. I think there's some taller trees I need, like a woods or something I have to put in over here. I'm not sure exactly where the churchyard is supposed to be, but there's definitely room for improvement. And of course, when I put this out on a, you know, with a train mat and add the river and, and such, that'll help too. And I don't know, it sounds like the hills were not terribly important from a tactical viewpoint because because they're of course coming down the hill so i don't know i'll see what i can do with that